nimisiga izan kora nimisiga izan kora nimisiga e nimisiga izan kora nimisiga izan kora nimisiga e
kuko uruwera kuko uruwera kuko uruwera kuko utajunanirwa kuko utajunanirwa ha bese twakugereranya nande ma bese mwami mana twakuhanya nande data bese mwami mana twakugereranya nande he na mane ko satara ni wewe kwa ba you missing kwa mna kwa ba you missing kwa ba you hujiro bwa chuma kwa ba you hujiro bwa chuma Ure, 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 
Tamo kangu. Ah, oh, kwa jenda niye, Yesu e, niwi Jesus tu tere rana. Ah, niwi Jesus tu tere. Turi manena mi rimne gusi. Ah, oh, we. Oh, 
Hallelujah. 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 I haven't heard you at all. So I thank the Lord that that He has allowed us to be here. Amazina yange ni Fidela Ingavide. Her name is Fidela Ingavide. And she's also with Renendi Zeye. And we thank God for the grace that we are standing in front of you today. So are you happy for us? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you for welcoming us. Let us also welcome you as well. First of all, I want to see if there is anyone who is gathering with us for the first time. If there is, you can only raise your hand and we can see you wherever you are. Is there any person who has gathered with us for the first time? But I can see new faces. All right, okay. 
since we are all at home. So let's welcome ourselves in the house of the Lord. Welcome in this gathering of saints. Before I give the announcements, I'd like to know if there are people who want to give thanksgiving. Is, is there any person? Since there, are, there is a hand. Hallelujah. Receive here in front Mama Zoe as she passes her thanksgiving. Amen. Let us clap our hands for Mama Zoe. Let's clap and anticipate the thanksgiving even before we hear it. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. I thank God. Because he's given us life. He's been with us. And we can clap for him. It's been quite a while since I was here. There was a concert for the worship team. So I was missing you all. I was really, really missing you all. Because if there are people who are dear to my heart, people that I pray for every time I pray, stands of Quora are among those people. As I pray for myself, I pray for my family, sons of God are also in there and you're dear. You're near and dear to my heart and may God bless you. This is a random proverb that says like that. You, you can have friends. Mujamunezere <laughs> Hallelujah! Ishimwe ryange ryari rikubiye mu gushima Imana ko muriho kandi ndizera ko mukomeje umurimo Ah Imana yatangije umurimo muri mwe izabashyigikira kugeza Yesu aje kujyana itorero Ntagira kibatera ubwoba mwahoze muri mango Yesu ngo aho twagendaniye ntigeze undeka Yesu ntabwo azabareka Mwagiza anniversaire imyaka 10 Sibyo ye mwagira anniversaire Si yari imyaka 10 Hashize imyaka ingahe mugize itanu imyaka 10 nanone mumaze muzagira anniversaire ya imyaka 10 mwarayigize eh biri hafi he umva umva yes he uwo munsi bizawe special bizawe umusu zasanzwe bizawe umusu zasanzwe inyike ziheruka zizasenyuke kandi abantu bose bazahimenye Amahanga bakikije nari kure cyane azamye ko mwaze anniversaire y'imyaka 10 nange nzaba mpari Eh rero ndashima imana ko eh yarinze yandinze eh hashize imyaka 22 mutware wangera ruhutse 
ariko ndashimira Yesu yuko yagendanye nanjye ntabwo yigize ndeka zoe muzi papa yaruhutse afite imyaka ibiri hope mukuru we afite imyaka 9 none muzi ko bamaze kuba inkumi ndetse hope we yaranabyaye mu mera imana icubahira nukuri twarabyaye hundi tate haleluya ndi tate rwose afite muzi ku rugiye kumara amezi atatu numva rero nubuntu bugeretse ku buntu ku bundi mwabana bwo nubuntu butangaje ibirere ntandi byaturutse ni mugakiza kaga kiza kaka ni mwakurikiranye kaka ni muri gushaka kaka ni mufite inyota nizara nako ngako niho bituruka imana ishimwe cyane rero nezera imana yuko yandereye ntera abana gakiza irakaba hariko umva mwishimira ariko mwishimire ntacyo bitwaye mwishimire ntacyo bitwaye yabahaya gakiza koko yatakabaha yewe simbizi simbizi myendi bayarangiye ku mutwe cyangwa aba ntarakiriho rwose ndakiriho waba afite umujyo muri iki gihe ujye muri akanya muneza ariko baba bafite mu byashaka kutakubwira byose ariko buryo yure by'umuntu wishimye nubabaye urabibona amaso sibyo rero nize ko ababyeyi bajya babanezerwa rwose nutarakira gakiza mu byeyi baba hari ariko mugafite ntacyo bitwaye ntacyo bitwaye mugakomeze ntacyo bitwaye rero imana yakoze ibikomeye imana yandinze kujarajara no kujajaba haleluya imana yarabindize cyane muri ubuzima imyaka 22 yankore ibikomeye cyane cyane ndashimira imana yuko i corona corona yateye maze ukwezi kumwe ndi muri chomage technique nakoraga ku mudugite twa gatsinga wakoraga hari ya Rwanda X mu kwezi kwa kabiri barambiye yarasenye koko bari byari tegeko to twari muri chomage technique ya meza atatu niba bari badushyizemo corona izamo baratwandikira ngo Shomaji tekinike ntabwo tuzigizarangirira. Rero kuva icyo gihe nta kazi nongiye kugira. Bashaka yando gukora ntabwo bamwe barabajyanye n'ibintu bagumana nange ndi muba sezereye nuko byagenze. Rero imyaka ine maze ndi mushomeri nabonye amafaranga. Ni hano tuza amafaranga y'umugisha. Amena. Muri 2019 nakiri ubuhanuzi ubuhanuzi ndabukunda no mpanuriye rwose nabwakira cyane nishime cyane kandi nkabazi uko imana izabusohoza umva nushaka ubeshye birakureba ariko ni uvuze mu izina ry'Imana ihoraho ndabwakira nkabazi uko buzasohora haleluya rero mu kwezi kwa 12 2019 zowe yitegura kujya kwiga nakiri ubuhanuzi
tugira tugira byinshi sibyo ariko ari cyo navuganye n'Imana cyo nasigaranye n'Imana ariko ngo ntabwo nzatinya byaje ngiye bitakira ibya amafaranga ushobora kujyana mu itorero vuba vuba abakozi b'Imana hagurukije muri iyi minsi bari abakozi batanavangiye uhumva se bwa bakuru nyine hari ikintu nyine cyo bati batwara abanye byinshi nyine ugasanga abantu baratwanga ibintu nibindi ariko bafata Imana ibarinde kuvangirwa haleluya rero mu ntege nk'izacu tuzabashyigikira mu ntege nyinshi tuzabashyigikira nukuri mu mfasha w'Imana Hallelujah. 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 So briefly, wow. her testimony was around that uh, she was thinking that God, that uh, uh, God kept sons of Korah together, and uh, he also protected her family. Um, uh, since 22 years after his husband died, and also, as you probably know, her daughters, one of her daughters, Zoe, was also ministering here in Sons of Korah, and she was also thinking God that Zoe and Hope are still alive after the death of his husband and through the life of being a widow. And he also explained how she had um, an employment life after COVID-19 hit. And since they lay off, God has also provided more money for her and for her daughters as well. And this is now the fourth year, but uh, she also got some job after that. And since he also uh, gave the offering for support, God kept doing more, and she's here celebrating with us within the 10 years of Sons of Korah officially being launched. Thank you. Hallelujah. 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 Uh, May God bless Mama Zoe. It is such a valuable thing to have someone who, th who prays for you unknowingly. May God bless her abundantly. And everyone who is here, please also pray for her. As she prays for us, please also pray for her. And wherever Zoe is, may God bless you. As we also welcome everyone who is following us online. As I, also, as I also request everyone who is in this gathering. Because of the heaviness of things that we are going to receive. I would like to request everyone to hold their phones and I'm going to tell you what to do. I can see people holding their hands. I can so, see, yes. so put in your data or your cellular networks. Have you connected to your cellular data? Let's all... Um, up on the YouTube application on our phones. Have you arrived? Very responsive. Have you got there? Uh -huh. Yes. Go to the search engine. Go to the search tab and click on it. Uh -huh. And type SOKTV. Have you got there? You can see a live streaming video. So click on that and help us also spread the message that is going to be preached here. If there are people who get um, support, may God also bless you for the work that will be ha you have done. So, going quickly through the announcements. Itangazo uh, ryambere nuko ama departement yose ari butange kaze ku bantu bashaka kuyinjiramo. The first announcement is that every department is welcoming and has open doors for anyone who wants to join them. So, Mm -hmm. 
who gets happy or who gets joy when there are uri mu rareba amatangazo y'akazi ukareba aho ujyanye nawe ibijyanye na qualifications zawe muri uyu mwanya nawe wicare uri mu rasenga utekereza ureba ahantu hari department ijyanye n'uburyo imana yakubatsemo uyu munsi we joining hallelujah hallelujah so as you sometimes scroll through a career page this is also a career page for you to work in the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you enjoy things of the world now, things of the house of God should also be enjoyable. Now also as you get excited and get happy when you receive an email from a career page, also get happy when you see this from the house of the Lord. So there are quite a few departments. Hari uh, worship team, hari media, hari intercession, hari hari um hari security, hari protocol. Aho hose ndazi neza yuko ta buri kintu ndakingukoramo. There is security, there is worship team, there is uh, ushers and and security, there is media as well. And I know in all those departments you wouldn't uh, not find something to work with the hospital or yes. Hallelujah. you having an excuse joining the department. Now you know them so if you want to join any of the departments, please reach out to Fabrice or Stina. Now, the second announcement, we still encourage you to follow the midweek services. Until today, it happens online on our YouTube channel. It happens on Thursday. On our YouTube channel on SOK TV. Hallelujah. On every Thursday at 7 p.m., always remember to go and watch the midweek services. And don't feel like that is for some people, some other people is also for you. Hallelujah. 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 Am I telling this announcement to people? People <laughs> <laughs> should be overjoyed by My these God. announcements. Mm. Hallelujah. 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 Now, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. <laughs> So a person who hasn't been baptized yet. I'd like to request Kelia, wherever she is, to stand up so you can see her. And now you know yourself that you haven't been baptized yet. You don't need to think about it. Just reach out to her and you'll know what follows. Hallelujah. Probably you haven't understood yet, but you shall comprehend that when you just reach out to her. So Hallelujah. we have an upcoming baptism on this Saturday, on the 30th of March. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, the last but not least announcement. You know, I might not go from this altar without speaking about women. If you are a girl or a woman, just know that you're here. Wow. Yes. Uh-huh. All the good things that we've been preparing for you. It's no longer words or promises. It has started to go in motion. Now we speak and we work, put in work. Last week I came here telling you or encouraging you to join. Now, starting from this Saturday, women repeat after her Saturday. That 
day that you just spoke of. Ibyari gahunda zose warufite wuzikure uko kingira rizirenze zose. Hallelujah. I don't feel like you're overjoyed Hallelujah. for this. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, kuri uh, wagata anda to do fit session ziza chane. Now on this Saturday we have a they have a good session. Tuzaba turimo turaganira kuri career development. And the theme will be Trust me you're not ready. About the career development. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ushobora kuba arinjye muri career yawe, ushobora kuba ukiri kubitekereza, ushobora kutazi nicyo career icyari cyo. Wowe gusa pfa kuba uri umukobwa, menye yuko ujyanye nabyo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Probably you have started your career journey, you don't know about it, you don't, you don't know where to start. Just join us. You don't, you don't know about it, but she knows it. Wowe ntago nakubwira wenda ngo nyizere ariko wenda izera ibyo ndimo ndavuga zakubone uwo munsi I may not request you to believe me but at least believe what I'm speaking of so Trust me it's it's not umva tuzagira uhe byiza cyane ya bibiri theoretical iya bari bibiri practical trust me we have prepared good things just for you Umwizere umwizere cyane nawe yateguranye ibintu byose babategura ibintu byiza rero arashaka kwabona so ndasaba ko umuntu wese utara joining a group ya Deborah's tribe wa buri umugore wageza hano uyu munsi ipfa kuba uyu umuntu witwa ngo uri umugore So as you as long as you identify yourself as the woman Kansabe president arazamura kaboko join this group muramwaza kujya kumureba nyuma y'amateraniro akabashimira reach out to her so you may join the the group as well Hallelujah Hallelujah Nimuzahuza isone tuzahahurire mbabarire muzumve muzagaragaza kitangazo ryanjye mwa ryumvise sibyo Hallelujah show up on that day amen Amen so itangazo ryanyu marero nuko announcement icyumweru gitaha next week isankizi ngize the hour as this one Is there anyone who knows what will happen Urakizi se do you know? Gerageza umbwira. Urakize. Tell me do you know? Haleluya. Tuzaba dufite amateraniro meza ya Pasika. We'll have a special Hallelujah. Passover service. Haleluya. Tuzaba turi kwiziza kuzuka ku mwami wacu Yesu Kristo. And we'll be celebrating the resurrection of our Lord Aiko. Jesus Christ. Mana yanje ko nko umunsi ugasiba. Ariko ibaze buri yatazuka. Now imagine yourself missing on that day. Don't you really think you have a reason to celebrate Hallelujah. with us? Hallelujah. Now let's all rise and she's going to tell us something. Let's all rise. Now look at your neighbor. Have you looked at your neighbor? Have you looked at your neighbor? There are people who are looking at her, not looking at their neighbor. If you are alone in your seat, just find a neighbor and look at them. Aha, mubwira ngo pasikanziza in advance. Happy Passover in advance. And please take his or her number so that you may remind him or her of the day of the Passover. Let me also request the worship team to come back on stage so that they also help us once again. Hallelujah. Worship team, worship team, please. Worship team. May you clap our hands for worship team. For the worship team. Let's let's us raise our, on our feet. Mm. We thank you, God. 
Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We can do our hands for Jesus. We can do our hands for Jesus. We can do our hands for Jesus. Worship team, let's clap our hands for Jesus. Thank you, worship team. Let's clap our hands for Jesus. Go in their seats. Kumeze tuwa kumera masi wa wakuzumuri mo kando dasanzke for the precious moment. Amen. Amen. Kujie kubaha ikaze mo matera niroya chuyu yomansi. And we welcome you once again in our gathering today. Imani kumeze tuwa umujisha kandi kumeze tuwa jiri renez. May God keep blessing you and doing good unto you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ambere yuko du komezi zindi gaonda tukari tuji yemo. And before we continue in our today's program. Hara amatanga zaviri nifuza ga kubabgira. There are two announcements that I would like to pass. Irja ambere nuko huko muvizi hari umuvanji mge watu witkwa fiakre ya raru waje papawe. The first one is that as you know we have our brother fiak. Ya raru wari kubitaru bja kanombe. His father was sick and is sick at kanombe hospital. Uyu munsi twakiriye amakuru ababaje yuko umubyeyi we yapfuye. He was being treated at the Kanombe Hospital but today we've heard the sad news that his father passed away. Icyo tubasaba mukomeze musengere umuryango wabo kugira ngo Imana ikomeze itanga ihumure kandi bakomeze. What we'd like to request you is that to pray for his family so that God may comfort his family. Kandi no kuba bishoboye ko abafite contacts ze mugerageze mu muhamagare mu mwandikire ndetse izindi gahunda zerekeye ikiriyo ndetse n'umunsi wo gushyingura turaza kwibanyemenyesha muri groupe duhuriye mu ya benekora and we encourage you also to send your condolences to him and for further information about the burial and the mourning we'll send you the information on our whatsapp group in sons of kora ah uh, imani zabashoboze kandi baho umugisha abazabasha kwifatanya nawe mwese may god strengthen you for everyone who will be also with that, with fiak our brother Amen. Amen. Chini nguko mwizi nijisho zaachu zoku wa ambere zira komeje kumunsi wejo. And as also you know the school of discipleship of Jesus Christ is continuing tomorrow. Kubi andichi shije. Ndete nabari muri grupe keli ya raza kudua informasyo abataza otu korela. For everyone who has registered themselves, keli ya will also give us more information about where we are having those sessions at. Ndete nabata wanu mganya woku itabira bahari hari link ba sharing muri group mujye mugerageza go checking your group duhuriyemo kugira ngo namwe mukurikirane utabayo ufite umwanya wo munsi haba hari na record ushobora kuzikurikirana mu cyumweru and for those who might not be able to make it physically please follow us on our zoom link call imani bahumugisha may god bless you
Let me also welcome my leader. Let's clap our hands for her. So she may help us in the following programs. Hallelujah. 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 Yes, Ashimge. Praise God. Hallelujah. 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 Uh, now, now the program that I'm going to speak about does not remove the fact that we came in a gathering. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the house of God is where someone has to feel that joy that I haven't found elsewhere in the world. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, is there anyone who cannot answer? Hallelujah. Now, let's do that in the name Hallelujah. of Hallelujah. 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 I won't move forward. I won't move forward without that. So everything that is burdening your heart, anything that you're carrying this Sunday, probably it's the years that you've been living, probably it's only for this month, probably it's only for this week, now you're going to say or shout hallelujah you see, a victorious hallelujah no, no, take it, Jose. today hallelujah. and everlastingly hallelujah hallelujah, hallelujah. Mm-hmm. It's, it's coming him. it's coming it's only remaining with hallelujah God. hallelujah mm-hmm. hallelujah hallelujah Hallelujah. 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 Yes. Hallelujah. 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 Nagoma Mazoya to the ship, but I got to the ship yak. Hallelujah. 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 Yes. Hallelujah! This is the gathering of the youth. Hallelujah! 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 Instruction in Apart from them obeying the instruction that God had given them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now after they had circled seven times. Now when they shouted together, the pillars and the walls of Jericho. Now I pray that every person who is sitting here, every person who came together with us, and every person who is shouting, shouting for his victory, the God in heaven, may he also bring down everything that stands at the walls of the Jericho. Probably you're not, you're not believing, probably you're poor or having a person. Now, whatever standing in here, that I pray today, that as you stretch your hands and as you stand up, everything that is standing in front of you will go down as the walls of Jericho in the name of Jesus. Now, God will do as compared to how you're also prepared for that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The shock, excitement, and omnitorero, omniteraniro. Now I want everyone. I want to see joy in this gathering. Hallelujah. Because God is going to do the extraordinary. God is going to do the extraordinary. And every time I come to the service, I know that in one way or another, God is going to do the extraordinary for me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now our gathering is not pointless. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are here to see the extraordinary from God amongst us because our God is living and the God that gave us our family now the God that gave us the family of Zoe and God who has done all the things that you have God is also going to do the same today. 
Amen. Amen. Okay. Hallelujah. Ah, uh, hani sawa chane. Yes, ashimwe. Hallelujah. Ni nongera kuvuga haleluya noneho ndaza kumva energy z'abantu turi mu now, if I speak hallelujah again, I want to feel the same energy in the same spirit. And as the man, as the man of God came, come here, they will also feel another gathering that came Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Ashimne. Hallelujah. May God be praised. Amen. Amen. Oh, so I thank God that, that she's standing there. Here in front of the man of God. And the father of this house, my father. I also thank the apostle. Thank you so much. So, let me do what brought me here in front of you. Let me just put aside my stina personality. Let me request an, uh, a few people among the committee so they may also step in front here. So Let's not take much time. May God bless you as you do it. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay. Only this. Yes. So We are many, but the few here are representing those. Kuko turaza kuba duhagaze mu cyimbo cya ministeri muri rusange. The few you can see here in front will be representing the whole ministry in general. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Um uh, ibintu ushaka kuvuga thing that I want to speak about uh, I want to speak them on a ministry level. Uh, and, and also for the executive committee that we are also leading this ministry together. It's an idea that we also thought about. And the opportunity to be able to see and it's something that God has graced us with an opportunity for us to attain that. Hallelujah. 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 So everything that we're going to do here in front is for the apostle. Uh, now, apostle, we want to thank you. Um, the Bible says, Whoever receives a prophet in the level or the name of a prophet also receives the, word, the reward of the prophet. And whoever receives a righteous in the name or the level of the righteous also receives the reward of the righteous. Now in this ministry we have been graced to receive an apostle. I'm not going to speak about this apostle. As a person who is acquainted with you, we know you by revelation. And we know you as the man of God. And we know you in the level of the apostle. And the person you became, the blessing that you became to us, we also receive the reward of who you are. We receive the reward of accepting you and welcoming you in our midst. The hand that has been stretched and the open that we welcomed you with in the, on the first time. Until today, the doors of our hearts and the stretched hands are still for you. 
We're still waiting upon God. So he may do exceedingly unto you and through you in our lives and also in everyone who's surrounding you. We love you so much. And today we want to give you this gift. I thought stand up for I, they are going to clap harder. Yeah. Uh, now the gift we want to give you uh, is beyond what you can see. It's packaged. Now the gift it is to thank you that you have been a blessing amidst us. Every time God wants to do something among his people, he sends a person, he works through people. Now you've been a vessel of important work that God has done through us. I'm sorry. When I thought about this moment that I'll be standing in front of you today, I didn't want to take this too personal and also mix my emotions <laughs> in this. But please allow me in this. I couldn't. I'm going to speak about this. Amongst a, a few things that he has done for us, amongst the things that he has done for us, he, he also supported financially, supported us financially or physically. It's not only about anointing or impartation or anything. He's a man of love. It's not a person who can just see from afar the ministry of God. This, uh, someday, there's this friend of mine in Sons of Korah. He or she came running saying that the apostle has given me a hundred dollars. A thousand dollars. My mistake. A thousand dollars. One, two, three, ten. And he, also, he or she asked me, what can we do about this? Now I want to do this business. And he or she told me about this plan. But for me, in my mind, I had only stopped at the dollars he had been given. All the plans that he was speaking about in that thousand dollars he had been given, for me, I was still processing how the man of God gave you a thousand dollars. Repeat again, how many do you have left? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, this is beyond being a man of God. This is beyond the person who imparts you. The person who also took among his belongings and he blessed us. He helped us pay quite a few things amongst us. He sponsored some of the um, conferences that we had here in Sons of Korah. If we do not thank him, we could really, really be not thankful. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. 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 Uh, and the executive that we are working together with this ministry, each person here has seen what you have done through us. And we thank you so much. And we know that God that is going forward with you, the one that has started the good work in you, will also complete it. We don't want that the blessing that you have done through us only stop at us. 
turashaka ko no mu mahanga yose bazamenye kandi zina rya wari kogezwa extending to the nations and your name being praised out there kanda bazakwakira bose bazabone Kristo and whoever receives you as a prophet will also see the Christ in you we do not regret the time you came in our midst and we bless that day amen and the God in heaven may he keep opening people or blessed people come to us and we love you so much so now, we want we request you to step here in front as we all rise let me request all the leaders and as the Apostle Festus come here in front. Amen, amen. Uh, as he also joined us. Amen. We love you so much. We love you so much. Please get closer to him. Get closer to him. We're doing it. You know. We're doing this representing you, so please take phones and take pictures. We thank you, man of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We love you so much, sir. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me request them. May God bless you. You can go back to your seats in the presence uh, of God. You can go back to your seats in the presence of God. And I also recognize the presence of the people of God among us. Pastor Joy. Pastor Joy. Yes. Thank you so much for being with us today. You already know that I love you. Boom, boom, boom. Then. Grace, Grace, we love you so much. Sister, we love you so much. Every single person who came in the delegation uh, with the man of God, we thank you. And also forgetting my brothers and sisters, sons of Korah, which we are doing this Mama ministry Zoe together. Mama Zoe, thank you so much for being with us. A good, beautiful mother. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. May God bless you, mother. Uh, now, without further ado, let me request you to all rise. Uh, forgive me, probably I have taken quite some time. But everything was for the good things. Now let me honor the presence of the man of God. Also my father, as we welcome him here. Let's clap our hands. Put the prophet and the man of God in our midst. As he steps in front here. Amen. May you take your seats. We are going to welcome you in our special service. Uh, and the leaders, we thank you so much for thanking the man of God on our behalf. That is only a symbol or a sign. Is there someone who is not speaking Spanish here? Grace. <laughs> okay. We wanted to make sure that everyone can understand what we're speaking so here. So the man of God has been a blessing to us. The day he arrived in Rwanda, he also came in our midst. He had the ability to start his own ministry. But he wanted to support us in the ministry that we were already doing. And he said, 
There is nothing new that I'm coming here to do. You are already doing it. Ahugo ndifuza kuba joining nza cha bugufi murimo icyo muzambwira cyose gukora nzagikora. Instead I'll come and help you and whatever you want me to do I'll do that. Araza mu murimo. And he came in the ministry. Aramira ngo ndakora imirimo nkore protocole nsemure ngire gute. And he asked me which ministry should I be doing? Should, how should I serve amongst you? Ura, 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 and I said the anointed of God cannot do simple work that others do. Now I told him, let's all share the altar. We had four, th four Sundays in a month. So now we separated each other amongst us. And whoever remembers how he was teaching, me and my brother at that time, we also went back to go and search for God. It encouraged us to go and look for God because whenever he preached, it also reminded yara us fita, to go back. It reminded us to go and look God once again because his themes were extraordinary. They reminded you to go back and seek the face of God. I used to call him the Black Paul. This man, we won't find any other apostle like him. These people come after generations and generations. Us, people like us, we can, we can find another person just even after tomorrow. We're like, we're like, we are like Barnabas to point you to the true people, but people like him, they come after generations. You might feel like I won't, I won't profit from any of this, but the reason why I'm speaking of this is because this man, if you listen or heard his story or history, where he comes from and where he passed through, except for the hand of God making him leave from that place and where he is reaching, now, if he speaks of his testimony, he will be amazed. He's a man who comes from afar. And he doesn't come from that far place for nothing. God took him from that place for a reason. Now it's so much in the bounden grace. Having him and we had him and he also helped, helped us in the ministry. To the point where God called him for another ministry, ministration or work. And I believe She's that in that time, if it was not for God, we could not have separated. So, now we honor you and love you. And apart from that, we also we acknowledge you. We acknowledge you. Man, you are too much. You are too much. I admire you so much. And I want, I'm one of the people who have received from the grace of this man of God. You know, when I met him, I was so local. I was so local. My messages were local. My mindset was local. I could only think inside the borders of Kigali. Not even Rwanda, Kigali. But when I met him, you know, <laughs> this man is international. There are things he thinks to do in ministry that all our leaders in the churches will think about it in the next uh, 50 years. He came with Ego Conference. Eagles conference. I asked him, how old are you? And then he started telling us how people are coming from Ghana, other Nigeria. I was like, one person coming from Ghana, one person from Nigeria, or are you saying like team? 
until when we went to pick the people. It was really a team. And I was like, hey, so we are in a Pan-African conference in Kigali, organized with people who are not even like with big names. I was like, this man can see far. No, and no, I said, I have to connect myself to this grace. No, 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 I grew up in Congo. I was born in Congo. I grew up in Congo. I grew up in Congo. Amen. Makila is a four. Ya Congo is a four. To that man, Mboka. Makila is a four. Hallelujah. Amen. So. English was one of the greatest battles I ever faced in this country. You know, when I started studying in, in Rwanda, we started to first, uh, first secondary school and we started with English. It started on us. We are the first generation who did the national exam in English. Since when I started senior one to senior six, I didn't know English. If there is a lesson I, I always had under five over ten was English. Always zero. Present continuous. No complicated stuff, man. The only thing I knew in English was car and good morning. And, good night. and then when I met him, I saw he's the one who challenged me. He said, Man, you have a great message, but you need to make sure that all nations can hear what you're saying. And I said, How am I going to do it? And then one day I was waiting for the conference was over. I went to him for two things. I want to dive in revelation the way you do it. I took my offering. You remember my offering? I saw for two things. To speak like him in English. And number two, to dive in revelation the way he does. You know, no, no subject is over the master. But the Subject can do double of the master. Five years later, man of God, sit here we go. I'm far. These days, I'm far. So after years, you know that my own people came begging to me, can you please speak in Yaranda? They plead with me in more than 10 meetings. Can you please speak in Kinyarwanda? My English became deeper than the people who studied English since they were in primary school. Yes. Am I lying? So today, for the grace of God, I accepted to preach in English and chill. Elias, am I lying? And by God's grace, because of speaking and preaching in another language, which is not local, It opened me doors outside these countries that cannot count. And the biggest offering I receive is from people who don't speak in Yaranda. Uh -uh, office is continuous. Then. Don't try to make it in the past. Amen. The biggest offering I receive is from people who don't speak in Yaranda. You know, if the close of Kora right now, I'm living well. <laughs> I'm living my best life. 
Because of what? English. English can make you live. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. You call a son, you tell him, son, God is telling me. A white skin son. God is telling me Hallelujah. When English is, is, is hard, you just put some tongues in there. And then Which means my ministry has shifted because of this man. So today I'm not receiving an anointing uh, that have blessed the ministry only. That also I'm a beneficiator of this anointing. You know, exercising gift is one thing. But bringing revelation after scriptures is the hardest thing you can do. We know people, they can prophesy, but when they start speaking out the scripture, you just want to switch off the TV. You know, other things you walk by faith, but this thing of revelation, you don't go by faith. You have to dig deep, you have to take hours, you have to make your brain work at the same time, your spirit at the same time, your soul. It's not easy. Because we are with a man. We walk with the spirit of the scriptures. When he's speaking, it might you might not understand what he's saying. But you feel something. You know, the disciples were saying when he was speaking to us we couldn't understand what he said but we felt in our heart some fire. You know, what I love in the revelation of the word is this. You don't need to understand it. It's have its own understanding. When it arrives in your life it does what it has to do even if you don't agree with it. You just have to be eager to receive and receive from it. And today I'm one of the young ministers who are international. And, and, and I, of my age, who is international, not local, not here in Kigali, who can travel and invited here and there. Because of speaking a language which is not local and because of this man of God. And tonight, man of God, I want you to shift my ministry. To and we believe that after you come out of this pulpit, this ministry is going to shift again. We were with him in 10 hours. I told him I will invite you, but I have to make sure that I prepare your way well. Before you come. And the time was this. And we are ready to receive a deposit from you, man of God. And since last time you were here, a lot of people went out the country. Got jobs. Got who were with, with us in the 10 hours. One of them is Nobo, I think Nobo can testify. And, and we really Nobo thank God for that. And tonight and we can't wait to go in another room. Sons of God, are you ready tonight? Yes, we, are we, had ready. Rent, we had rain today. So our time wasn't well easy. But bear with us, we'll add a little bit of time. But we have to listen to what God has put in the man of God. So take your offering where you are uh, and stand up on your feet. Take your offering. I'm going to do it at the same time with the service that we're supposed to do. Take your offering in your hand. Uh, let me ask all the church to stand up. We are about to receive the word. And tonight something is going to happen. Uh, 
in a moment, I, I won't need to, to remind you this. I know the interpreter will do it well. And we will all receive what the man of God is about to give us. Take your offering in your hand. If you have on Momo, the number is just in front. Take an honorable seat. And let me ask you to take also the, the, your seed in your hands. And then ask René to pray for the offering. And then we will give it. There's two baskets just in front of you. If you brought it cash, you can put it in. If you did it with your phone, believe in the prayer and something will happen. So raise your hands and we pray. Lord Father, we thank you. We thank you for all that you have given us and we thank you that you have allowed us to come in your house today. With what we have brought today, God bless it so that it may bless our hearts and bless our families and bless all the sources of our fundings from now and then in the name of Jesus we pray you and thank you amen uh, for all of you who brought your your offering you can come and let me ask the team that worship at Tunisis to just come in front a little bit and let us worship in a lower moment and the man of God will just take over with the word. We will add up a little time on what we're supposed to close on. And I know that we'll be blessed. Who's ready tonight? who's ready tonight we're going to receive the word of God for all of you who brought your land portion of land uh, I told you to come with a small portion of land Okay, we'll pray for the land today after the service. I will speak again after your mic breaks. I said we will pray for it today. after the service be ready we just be a declaration and we come out of this place and next Sunday again we'll pray for the land so let us receive the worshippers with Amen. a song of worship as we get ready for the word Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Who is ready to worship in this place? We're going to start by raising a sound of worship in this place. You know, sometimes we are waiting for a song to start to worship. But worship goes beyond a song. Worship is you. I am worship. You are worship. So you go, you're going to offer yourself going to offer yourself as you worship and let it come from the bottom of your heart let it come from the bottom of your heart we give you glory Jesus come and dwell in the midst of our worship come and move I want to hear the sound of people. Come and take charge, Holy Spirit of God. Come and take charge, Holy Spirit of God. Come and move as you please. Come and do as you will. 
Let your kingdom come and dwell in this place. Let your authority come and dwell in this place. Let your power come and dwell in this place. We worship you, Jesus. We worship you, Jesus. We worship you, Jesus. We worship you, Jesus. Come and move. Come and dwell, Holy Spirit of God. I know, we worship you, we worship you, we worship you.
As we're singing, one thing God brought to my consciousness is how you guys respect your president. And the question is, if he was the one standing here, would you sit down? That is disrespect. We were singing, we heal you, we heal you, we heal you. Some people were sitting down. I don't know how you see God as, I don't know how you know him as, 
but he deserves the respect with or without your liking. If you want, don't like it, but you should do it to him. Because when you go in front of kings, you reverence them not because you feel like it, but you know that you have to do it. You know you have to do it. For the next few minutes, let's just close our eyes and begin to appreciate God. If you feel like you don't have a relationship with him, appreciate him because he is God. That alone is enough. Just close your eyes and begin to appreciate God. Recognize him as the king that he is. Say whatever you want to say to him based on the relationship that you have with him. But recognize him for who he is as king. If you can speak in tongues, do it in tongues. Whatever language you feel is comfortable for you, go before him as the king that he is and give him the reverence that he deserves. Even God says that he has exalted him. We exalt your name, Jesus. We exalt your name, Jesus. We exalt your name, Jesus. We acknowledge you, O God. We thank you, Jesus. We acknowledge who you are. We acknowledge who you are. We know you are here and we acknowledge your presence. We know you are here and we acknowledge your presence. every in heaven shall declare your glory every knee shall bow unto your throne in worship you will be exalted
Let him not be in competition with anybody. Let him not be in competition with anything. Let him take the place. Ah, let him be exalted. I don't care what is going on, but let him be exalted. Even when it doesn't make sense, let him be exalted. Let him be exalted. If you 
know that you have some just keep the melody Come if you have man. something important lined up between now and the next 21 days that you know about maybe an interview maybe a visa interview a job interview job interview you will have to go fast if you will survive yes. you 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 maybe it's uh, maybe it's marriage proposal anything that you feel is significant maybe you're about to say you're about to make a decision that would change the trajectory of your life I want you to come I want to pray for you because the Lord told me there is something that he's about to do but he's lined up ah, yeah, 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 yeah. in the next 21 days I sense a strong atmosphere of shift and I believe that whatever you will go for in the next 21 days will change the trajectory of your life. Listen, this is not just something we are feeling. This is something we know. And the secret to this shift is that God be exalted in that thing. Listen, God only sponsors his agenda. One of the ways to get God's scholarship is to work in God's agenda. I don't know what you are looking for, but God is saying, find out what I'm looking for, that 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 aligns with what you're looking for. I don't know what you are going for, but find out what I am going for that aligns with what you're going for. It's, it's a knowledge and a prayer, but the knowledge is important. There are so many people that have a knowledge, that have a prayer without a knowledge. <laughs> but I say that if you will catch this knowledge, the prayer will be easy. In the next 21 days, specifically there is a major decision of your life that you have to take lift up your, lift up your hands for a and let the wind of God touch you all over this place in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray by your spirit that as many as have expectations, as many as are in the path of decision, as many as are about to take a next shift, as many as are about to take a next decision, I pray by the spirit of God that somebody will touch right now in the name of Jesus. Touch all over this place in the name of Jesus. Every hand's lifted. I speak favor over them. I speak testimonies all over this place. In the name of Jesus. I speak testimonies all over this place. Father, as we have come to your altar, as we have come to your altar, Lord, none will leave this place the same. In the name of Jesus, let there be a shift. 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 In the name of Jesus, touch. Touch somebody. Minister to somebody. Give somebody the wisdom. Give somebody the knowledge. Give somebody the understanding. As they exalt you in their room. As they exalt you in their private place. As they exalt you in their corners. As they exalt you in public. As they exalt you in public. Father, in the name of Jesus, shame will come to no one. 
Shame will come to no one. Shame will come to no one. Shame will come to no one. Shame will come to no one. Shame will come to no one. Shame will come to no one. In the name of Jesus. It is settled. Ah, jam your hands together. It is settled. You can take your seat. It is settled. Jam your hands. It is settled. It is settled. Somebody give God the Lord a shout. Ooh. Give the Lord a shout. Ah, give the Lord a shout. Give the Lord a shout. Exalted, O oh Lord, and your kingdom shall not pass away. Ah, shall bow at your feet in worship. Exalted, O oh Lord. Stay there, stay there. Kuma hohanu. Aika ne melade. Exalted, O God. And your kingdom shall not pass away. Over the last. 21 days you notice that you stop remembering your dreams because that's what the Lord is telling me now you notice that you stop remembering your dreams it's like number one is either you were you used to be a, a, a seasoned dreamer consistent dreamer but all of a sudden you stop dreaming you stop dreaming, that's one. Or you used to be you used to dream a lot, and that is how God speaks to you. And all of a sudden now you know you'd had a dream, but you can't remember. You know, sometimes the battery can still be in the car, but it cannot spark. I just want to spark your dream battery. Just lift up your hands where you are. You don't need to come forward. Just lift your hands. Father, in the name of Jesus, I spark the dream battery. In the name of Jesus. I don't care what attack has been, has been sent to that voice, to that hand, to that mind. I restore that mind in the name of Jesus. And I speak by the authority of God that a restoration begins tonight. I can hear your amen, your scream. I said the restoration begins tonight in the name of Jesus that God will open up a portal of dreams. You will rekindle your relationship with him. You will begin to see again every, every attack against your sight I arrest it in the name of Jesus and I restore your sight by the spirit of God in the name of Jesus your sight is restored you will not be blind in the name of Jesus you will not be blind in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus I'm going to pray one more prayer. I have many prayers I could pray, but <laughs> because it, it, it feels like, man of God, it, it feels like there's there's a wave that there's a wave that God is just releasing. There's a wave. That's just how I feel. You see, let me tell you, when the presence is right, don't don't miss out. Some of you, you have come as, as, as though you came for a show. This is not a show. If there is any show, it's a show of the kingdom. So please, whatever contemplations you have, put them aside. Whatever thoughts, whatever issues you have, leave them at the gate just to hear. For, for the next one hour, just be here. Praise God. Amen. 
As Papa was saying, one of the graces that I have is to be able to see in the scriptures. Uko Papa ya bifuga ga ubu nuburi kubusima bwanje nukureva mubijani tukwe. It's not a gift. Na ago arima no. Hello. 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 It's not a gift. Na ago arima no. You see, there is a gift, there is a grace, and there is an office. Hari ima no harubu no hari na. Praise God. Na office. There is a grace, there is a gift, there is a grace, and there is an office. Harubu no hari ima no. Hari na office. There is no kinyanda for what. For office. Umurimo. Uh -huh, umurimo. Yeah. That one. So the office is where I operate from. Umurimo ni hongorera. Listen. I, I am an apostle by calling. Do do the nunga kugu muhamagaro. Not by title. One of the issues we have in Rwanda is, is the issue that we title, we take ministerial callings as titles. So we have hierarchies. The evangelist, the pastor, no, 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 no. the apostle. No, I'm not an apostle by ranking. I am an apostle by calling. I am not ranked apostle. Na go na bji iskwe apostle. I am called apostle. Na hamagari we kuba. So when you hear apostle Festus, it does not mean is the highest ranking officials in the room. Iyo uvi shelero apostle Festus ni mi vuze. It only means is the official that operates from the apostolic office. Mi vuze kongorera mu muri mu muri mu wa apostolic. And when you are in an office, kandi yuri muri wa muri mu. There are things that are accessible to you. Versus when you are not in that office. And your kingdom shall not pass away. You see, if, if the government has, if the government is seen as a kingdom, and the kingdom has different arms. For those of you who understand a bit of government, we have legislature, we have executive, we have judiciary. You can sit down when I'm about to call the prayer, you will stand. So, also the kingdom of God has officials and arms. The apostolic is one of the arms. Apostolic The pastoral is another arm. That is why I'm not trying to compete with Pastor Joy. There are things she will do I will never do in a lifetime. Because she's in an office that gives her access to do things according to that office. Now, everybody belongs to an office but everybody operates in multiple graces. She can be a pastor that operates in a prophetic grace. That is why sometimes we get it wrong when we see someone prophesy, we say prophet. Prophesying doesn't make you a prophet. In fact, ah, today I didn't come to talk about the prophetic. But if we enter, we can even begin to ask what does it mean to be a prophet? Do you know the first sign of a prophet? It's not sight. The first criteria for a prophet is that you can go on your knees. That's the first criteria. A prophet is a converter. The prophet's ability to see is not connected to his lips, it's connected to his knees. So when a man fully is in the office, I'm not talking about these guys who are joking, I'm talking about the one who is in the office of the prophet. He speaks less and fix more. 
he comes to announce what he has fixed by the grace of God we had the opportunity to go to school a little bit and then, and then we, we, we went to theology school and there's what they call the law of first mention it means that the true meaning of a word is the first time it was mentioned. The first person called a prophet in the Bible was Abraham. Where did Abraham say, I see in the next, I, I swear. Abraham he said, go to him that he may pray for you. For he is a prophet. He restored that which was barren. But we are not talking about giftings. Neither are we talking about offices or graces. But I'm just saying, because I'm in the office of the apostle, I have the grace to see in scriptures. It's not a gift, it's a grace. Gifts are imparted, graces are transferred. Graces are activated. You read the Bible, but you don't understand. You go, you read, you are like, say, <laughs> you, 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 you don't, you don't, you don't, anytime you read, you say, uh, 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 you, you don't get it. As the message is going on, the spirit of understanding is sitting on you. Listen to me. I said the spirit of understanding is sitting on you. When we call a scripture, open it and read it alongside. And say, God, I want to see what no one else is seeing. I have people in my, in, 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 who are with me who now, when they open and they speak, Apostle, I'm scared. I'm, like, ah, I'm about to retire now. Some of the things they open up, it scares me. It's a grace. It can sit on you. Because it's in the package you receive called the Holy Ghost. As the, as the, as the word is coming, may that understanding come at you. In the name of Jesus. Oh, dear amen, Vrema. Say amen very well. Amen. Say amen very well. Amen. Say amen very well. Amen. Hallelujah. Prevega hide us. And your kingdom shall not pass away. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus, take charge. Let them not see Festus, let them see Jesus. Let them not hear Festus, let them hear Jesus. Let them hear Jesus. Let at the end of tonight the kingdom become more visible. That at the end of tonight what we'll see will be the kingdom. And nothing else. Thank you Father. 
in Jesus name Amen. Amen worship team you preach with me just stay where you are are you excited are you sure you are excited listen listen I'm very confident in my soul body and spirit I don't know about any other day but today there is some I don't know if you notice the atmosphere there is something different about today listen I know I've been coming here before I am the uncle that always crashed the family party I know but there is something different about today. And some people they used to wonder why does Papa always go and call this uncle? I, I don't even understand. I pray that at the end of today you will find out. You will find out. There will be an angle of Jesus you will see. Like a side of God that you will see. And as the anointing goes all over this room, if there is any sickness in your body, let me tell you what I hear in my spirit. Excuse me. That's what I hear in my spirit. Excuse me. Every sickness in your body, excuse me. I don't think you understand me. what I'm saying. Preach, I, don't, I don't think you understand. I said, if there is any pain in your body, as the word is coming, what you are telling it is, excuse me. Because some ailments are distractions, man of God. Can you try just exercise? Exercise, just say, ex excuse me, please. Just, just try it prophetically. Say, ex excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Just say, excuse me. Excuse me. Sinzi, sinzi, sinzi. I, I don't know, but I'm, I'm, there's something different about today. I'm so happy. And I'm so happy to be here. I observe every protocol. It's not easy to speak in the presence of, you know, <laughs> mighty men. But I pray that it will not be my voice. It will not be my sound. I'm, I'm, I'm grateful for those who came with me. God bless you. Especially for Pastor Prince. Thank you for coming with me, man. Jam your hands together. Appreciate. You never know the grace you will appreciate might locate you. Amen. Amen. And thank you to my team. And some of the Sunesis guys who are in the, in the congregation. But today is not about all that. It's about kingdom. <laughs> it's about kingdom. 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 It's not about all this. It's about kingdom. Pinch your neighbor say kingdom. 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 Just say kingdom. Say kingdom. 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 <laughs> you see, constantly you hear the word kingdom. It's, it's a recurring concept in scriptures. It is recurring kingdom. You keep hearing kingdom. David, are you sure you can stand? And today I was like, let's talk about kingdom. Because that is what we have been doing all this while. Listen, everything that we do is connected to kingdom. 
We are not in a democracy. We are not in we are not in any other form of government. We are not in communism or socialism. We are not in anarchy. We are not in liberalism. We are not in the free thinking era. We are in a kingdom. We are in a kingdom. The sound we make is of the kingdom. The word we preach is the kingdom. Listen, the food we eat is the kingdom. Everything about what we do is really kingdom. So today I just came to, re to remind us what is this kingdom matter? What is this kingdom matter? Every time in heaven and earth shall declare your You just bear with me because this is how I know how to do this. Because you see, when I pause, it means something is happening. That's why I pause. Yes, oh, tell us oh, Lord, in the When I was coming in the car, the Lord told me, Kingdom is the domain of the king. And you better go fast. Yes, sir. Kingdom, king domain. So I was like, He says, Every king has a domain. And the kingdom is just a word coined to say for every domain there is a king. I have said two things. I said every king has a domain. But for every domain there is a king. So tonight all I came to ask is who is the king of your domain? Everything that you do, there is a king. Everywhere you step, there is a king. Every decision you make, there is a king. Under every earth, there is a heaven. Heaven is not just a place. Heaven is a realm. There is an earth of decision and there is a heaven of realms. There is an earth of prayer, but there is a heaven of prayer. There is an earth of preaching, but there is a heaven of preaching. There is an earth of giving, but there is a heaven of giving. There is an earth of evangelism, but there is a heaven of evangelism. There is an earth of ministry, but there is a heaven of ministry. Every single earth I tread on, there is a heaven that controls me. So when we talk about kingdom, we are saying, what is the heaven over your earth? I didn't talk, I didn't come to talk about the kingdom of your village. I didn't even come to talk about the kingdom of your nation. With all due respect, I didn't come to talk about the kingdom of your family. I came to talk about the only kingdom that is worth talking about. The kingdom of God. The kingdom of God. Listen. God is a king with a domain whether you make him your king or not. So it's your choice to walk into the domain of God or it's your choice to stay where you are and the king will still reign over you. 
if divine health is a kingdom, there is a king over it. Niba ubuzima bwiza ari ikintu ari ikintu dushaka hari umwe muri ejuru yacu. JP, I'm very happy to see you. If wealth, because I just saw coins sitting on your hands. I just saw coins. And God is saying, if wealth is a kingdom, there is a king over it. Where is the king of the domain that you walk in? The scripture says the kingdom of God is not in eating and drinking. The kingdom of God is not in what? It's not in what? Eating and what? Drinking. Ah, are you dumb? It's not in what? Eating and what? Drinking. It, it, it was not so much concerned about food. It was so much concern about ease. It was not so, so much concern about the process of ingestion. It was so much talking about ease. It was so much talking about ease. When you step into a kingdom, you have stepped into difficulty. Listen, the kingdom gives you ease over its realm, but difficulty over another realm. Listen, that is why if you are of heaven and you operate as of earth, you will struggle in earth. Pray however you want. Pray however long you want. Until you operate according to the kingdom that you are in, you will struggle. There is a pattern of the kingdom that we've been called into. There is a style of the kingdom that we've been called in. There is a style. There is a standard of the kingdom that we've been called in. It is not an accident. It is not guesswork. It is not just standing there and waiting for some magic. There is a system of the kingdom that we've been called into. That is why he says the kingdom is not in eating and drinking but is in righteousness. Is in what? Righteousness. Peace. Enjoying the Holy Ghost. Righteousness. Peace. Enjoying the Holy Ghost. If the kingdom is in righteousness. Listen, it didn't say the kingdom is of righteousness. It didn't say the kingdom is by righteousness. It says the kingdom has been wrapped up and put in righteousness. It means that no matter how I walk, until I come into righteousness I have not come into the kingdom if this is the kingdom the kingdom has been put in righteousness it means the kingdom has also been placed in peace in, in a while, I will show you why these three are very important. It means that outside of peace, there is no kingdom. But you ask yourself, man of God, what peace? Jesus said, I do not give you peace as the world gives. There is a type of peace that the kingdom has been put in. And the third one is joy in the Holy Ghost. You see, he could have just said in joy. But there are so many things that pro 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 
ariko ikintu kigiye kimuza abona ubwami ni gihe ufite munezero mu kawera means that there is a place of joy that is interpreted as joy in the Holy Ghost. Actually, let me submit to you that there is no other joy outside of joy in the Holy Ghost. Listen, you might have happiness but you will never have joy. Happiness is a state of events. Like if, if Papa calls me now and say, if Papa Gabi calls me now and say, Papa Gabi, I'm come and I have just arranged a brand new car for you. What he provokes is happiness. Now, when that car is submitted to the kingdom, it brings joy. So if the kingdom of God is not in eating and drinking and is in righteousness, peace and joy in the Holy Ghost what is my role in all of this? Today when I was praying you, you know I told you that for the whole time you, he asked me for almost a month he told me I'm going to minister and he asked me to give the theme and I, I could not find the theme. Now, I must tell you, I'm the theme doctor. I can create theme out of anything. But I was just there, I said, God, which one, which one? And after a long time, I sent him a message. I said, just do kingdom. Kingdom is not my theme. Kingdom is the packaging of my theme. So I want to talk about the requirements of the kingdom. The what? The requirements. Alright, let me put it in another grammar. The prerequisites to be in the kingdom. Matthew chapter 6. And your kingdom shall not be very careful of the pauses. It's a time to catch. Every tongue in heaven. Every tongue in heaven and earth shall declare your glory. Shall bow at your throne in worship. In worship, you would be exalted. Father, let your spirit move all over this place. As the word comes, as the word comes, as the word comes, let a life change in the name of Jesus. Matthew chapter 6 from verse number 8. Somebody should help me. Just be helping me with the time. Because people will have an overnight. It says, Be not ye therefore like unto them. Those who pray using vain repetitions. Jesus was teaching prayer according to the kingdom. <laughs> according to what? The Let me tell you, everybody prays. But what king are you praying to? <laughs> everybody, they, you, they say there is power in prayer. The Buddhists pray. I come from Gambia, 95% Muslims. The Muslims pray. In fact, they pray five times a day. How many times have you prayed today? So you see, the power of the prayer is not even in the number. The power of the prayer is not in the length. The power of the prayer is to the who? Hey, Man of God, 
Jesus stood at the grave of Lazarus. Yesu yahagaze kumva ya Lazaru. And he gave a testimony. Avtangu buhamya. Father, I thank you because you always hear me. Aravuga ati mwami ndagushimiye kunyumva buri gihe. I know that for the sake of these people you will hear me again. Ndabizi ko kubwaba uri bunyumve kandi. Lazarus come. Lazaro haguruka. If a testimony can raise the dead, how about your long prayer? Niba ubuhamya bwasura bapfu. Can't you see that there is something wrong? Can't you see there is something wrong? Can't you see? Nago ubibona ko ari kibazo. He walks in he walks in the room of the girl that was 12. Yinjira mu cyumba cyo mukobwa wari imyaka 12. And they said the girl was dead. Bavuga ko umukobwa yari yapfuye. And he walked in and he said, Yinjira maravuga if you are not the mother or the father, leave the room. I tell you, there is a kingdom principle over all these things. Your problem is you are praying with everybody. Prayer is a place of nakedness. You don't show everybody your private part. You don't become naked with just anybody. You have to wrap yourself. When you see some people, you wrap yourself. You wrap yourself. When they come, you sing. You don't just speak anywhere. He said, if you know you are not connected to this case, you are praying with people who are not connected with your case. That's why your prayer is in vain. There is a kingdom of heaven over the art of prayer. He said, um, can you leave the room, please? And I went on, excuse, excuse me, me, please. And I went on to study and I was like, but why? And my Bible says, when he was coming in, he said, the girl is asleep. And they laughed. He said, the girl is asleep. And they laughed. Do you know how many people are laughing at your prayer point? You, 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 they know your situation. You are there saying, I'm, 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 I'm wealthy. I'm, I'm wealthy. They look at you. They are like, seriously? You. Wowe. 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 You are wealthy. You are wealthy. You are wealthy. Wowe. 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 You are wealthy. Wowe. Wowe. They know that you are always with the doctor. I walk in divine health. I walk in divine health. You are naked in front of the wrong folks. If you are not connected to this case, leave the room. There is a kingdom over it. There is an understanding. And when they had left the room, apart from prayer being a place of nakedness, it's a place of secrets. They are called secrets for a reason. They are not for everybody to know. I, 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 I tell people once it has left me it's no longer because even your boo has a boo uh, 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 Grace I'm telling you this thing but don't tell anybody and then Grace will go to Joy I'm telling you but don't tell anybody Joy will go to Emmanuel. I'm telling you, but don't tell anybody. By the time you realize, the whole ministry knows, but nobody is told, telling anybody. Nobody told anybody. Only that the person you consider also has somebody they consider. Oh, Over every earth, there is a heaven. He said, leave. He said, leave if you are not connected to the case. A man of God, he said, little girl. Rise up. <laughs> At 
Lazarus as at Lazarus, at Lazarus grave he gave a testimony on the bed of the little girl he gave an instruction there is a pattern to this thing there is a pattern. you are testifying where you are supposed to be instructing you are instructing where you are supposed to be testifying you are commanding where you are supposed to be I pray that after tonight thy kingdom will come in your life in the name of Jesus Oh, I don't hear no amen. Na amen dikumva. So he said, don't pray like they pray. Na agusenga nguko basenga. Be not like them. No meren habo. I'm just in Matthew chapter six. You know it. You know it is not even a hard scripture. Matayo gatanda tunago pagoe. For your heavenly Father knoweth what things you have need of before you ask. Can I give you a secret? Your prayer is useless unless he's your father. Oh, 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 that is the first door to prayer. I want to ask you today, are you a son or you are a servant? Are you a slave or you are a visitor? Are you the uncle that comes once a while? <laughs> Our father! Which art in heaven? That is where you begin. Now, the pattern of the kingdom as it as it relates to prayer is the pattern of recognition. And it's a recognition of, of, of a son to his father. Listen, he is God. But when you come, address him as father. What is the name of um, Kagami's son? Ivan. Imagine if every time Ivan comes to his father, he says, Mr. President. It's weird. Mr. President. Mr. President, how are you doing today? Mr. President, is his father not the president? But the primary dimension under which they operate is not as his title. President is a title. Father is a relationship. God is looking to build a relationship. So in the place of prayer, come as a relative. Kingdom. Come as a relative. Our father. Because if you say Mr. President, his mind is tuned to his responsibility. Ah. If you say Mr. President, he all of a sudden assumes the role <laughs> of the president. <laughs> but when you say when you say Papa, <laughs> when you say Papa <laughs> he's like, oh my son, my <laughs> son, my, <laughs> son, <laughs> my <laughs> son is here, my son. <laughs> he does not see you as a citizen of Rwanda. <laughs> He sees you as a son. There is a heaven over the realm of prayer. It's called relationship. He said, when you come, say, our father. Maybe you have another father, so specify. Which Aha. art in heaven? Aha. <laughs> be, be, be very specific. Because I could be talking to my papa in Congo. <laughs> but I, this one, I mean 
our Father, which art in heaven. It means that I'm talking to a Father who operates in a realm over my earth. And then he continues to show the pattern. He said, after you have seen that you have come to him as a son, now address his holiness. No, no, ho ubone kwera kwayo. Hallowed be thy name. Ugame gawe. Hallowed be thy name. Hallowed be thy name. Hallowed be thy name. Isinari jawe juba we. I know I'm your son, but I'm not just coming as a messed up son. Dabi sinje ngumwa na iko sinje ngumwa nuta sowa nuchu. I know I'm a son, but I also know that you are the president. Dabi ziko fita mafuta ri konda na bi si. I know I'm a son, but I also know we are talking on a platform of righteousness. Because the kingdom of God is in righteousness. Because the kingdom of God is in righteousness. When I enter, I have to say, Hallowed be your name. And then what is the next thing that I say? Thy kingdom. Because I know the kingdom is in holiness. The kingdom is in righteousness. So I say, Thy kingdom. Come. Thy kingdom come. My prayer is useless if it's outside of His kingdom. Thy kingdom come. And somebody is a man of God. How does his kingdom come? It's in the next verse. Thy will be done. If you want his kingdom to come, find out his will and do his will. Thy will be done in earth. Can I spoil something for you? Can I spoil something for you? Where do you think earth is? You think earth is the cosmos, right? The universe, right? But let me bust your bubble. This is earth. Thy will be done in earth. As it is in heaven. Thy will be done in earth. As it is in heaven. Hi! What is the will of God in heaven? Kingdom is I look for it and it's done in earth. Paul said we have these treasures in earthen vessels. 
that the excellency might be of God there will be done in earth Nicole if you are earth has his will been done lately it's so beautiful because there is no sickness in heaven thy will be done in earth it's so interesting because there is no poverty in heaven thy will be done in <laughs> earth it's so interesting because there is no hungry person in heaven thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven there is no broke minister in heaven there is so much extravagancy they say the streets are made with gold that will be done in earth as it is in heaven let me tell you if I was to rewrite the Bible if I was to rewrite the Bible okay let's, let's leave the Bible if I was to rewrite this verse or this chapter that's where I would have stopped because remember Jesus was not speaking to Christians so what, what is the next verse please someone read it for me what's the next verse what, what's the next verse ah, you are not following I told you read it says what give us this day our what let me tell you when his will is done on earth as it is in heaven you don't need to ask for bread because where his will is done there is not just daily bread there is monthly bread there is weekly bread where his will is done you don't have to say forgive us our trespasses because remember hallowed be your name I walk in righteousness so the forgiveness of sin is a settled matter when I come so I don't come with the stain of sin I come with a consciousness of righteousness. So forgive us our trespasses. It's not like all I need to stay is thy will be done. 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 If there is no sinner in heaven, that will be done in earth. If there is no fornicator in heaven, thy will be done in earth. If there is no liar in heaven, thy will be done in earth. If there is no thief in heaven, thy will be done in earth. As it is in heaven. Are you hearing me? So you see the Lord's prayer to the disciples is different from the Lord's prayer to us. These things are there for our learning. But when we come to a heightened realm of revelation, we understand when his will is done, we don't ask for bread. Thy kingdom come. Thy kingdom come. Thy kingdom come. Everything is happening in your life, but his kingdom has not come. John came, he said, The kingdom of God is at hand. Jesus came, he said, The kingdom of God is near. Matthew 6, he said, seek ye first the kingdom of God. And all these things, which things? Daily bread. 
forgiveness of sins and all these things shall be added unto you listen when his kingdom come and his will be done our prayer points become additions now you realize your prayer point Apostle Lemko normally says full of supermarket items Apostle you, 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 you take your prayer point you realize you don't have a prayer point because in this kingdom the only time prayer is acknowledged is when it relates to his kingdom it's like you don't you don't you don't you don't jumva, you jumva. Now go muri kujumva. Praise God. Hallelujah. Let me give you a proof. Maybe you think it's just my. Rekamba mbehe urujero enda muri kujana ninge. I was reading the book of First Samuel. Narindi gusoma ijitabo cha Samuel no ame. And I read about a woman called Hannah. So mumu gore witwa Anna. And the Bible says she was married, but the Lord had closed her womb. Bibira fuka ngo yari arasha atari ko man era funzi ndai. Yes, you heard me, the Lord. Imana na gunyumvi shena yari era funzi ndai. Could it be that you are blaming the devil for some things the Lord has done? Okay, let's leave it. So, the Lord had closed her womb and the Bible says that day after day and year after year she cried unto the Lord for a child. And in fact, she was provoked by her mate, Penina. Penina, Penina, Yahora, Ga, Amu, 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 Koma, Avuga, Tina, Amgana, Fite. But nothing changed. Ariko na cha Hindu kaga. She prayed. Yakome je guse. She cried. Ararira. She screamed. Ara vuzindo. She sacrificed. Atangi bisha. She offered. Arata. She brought a seed. Arata. But nothing changed. Ariko na cha Hindu. Thy kingdom come. Ogam. Yes. Your tears does not move God. Your kingdom mindedness moves God. Amarira ya wena cha kora kuma na huko imitetere zoe ogam ikora kuma. You are asking God for things, but look at His kingdom is dry. You have a fat savings account. Ufite saving account in Yusu ye. And you want to travel? You say, Papa, eh, eh, pray for me. I want visa. Kabukati, I want to go. Papa, anda shaka visa, anda shaka kujend. But we need a new camera. Ariko na kamera ili mzuri ma. Thy kingdom come. Ugame gawa mus. Until your mind shift to this kingdom. Your prayer is hanging. And then Hannah was like, ah, wait, there's something wrong. I am praying, but the, the answer is not coming. Then she said, I am praying for a son. Let me find out what God needs. And she went to investigate. And she found out that God needed a prophet. But she needed a son. Then she went back to prayer. She said, I realize you have been looking for a prophet. But I have been looking for a son. So give me a son. And I will give you a prophet. Give me a son. And I will give you a prophet. Jesus. And God said, now you are talking. And God said, now you are talking. The Bible said that night. That night. That night. That night. Listen, you might have been praying for five years. You might have been praying for ten years. You might have been praying for ten days. But God has brought the knowledge to you. As you find out His will, and you put it in your prayer, Thy will be done. Thy kingdom come. Something is about to shift. The Bible says that night. It just showed on the cover of the book. And Canaan only touch Anna. He only touch her. He only touch her a little bit. And she conceived. Aratkuita. You are bordering God with what you want. Uri kuteshi manu mutwe nibi nushaka. Border God with what He wants. Teshi manu mutwe nibi nushaka. Eh. That night. It is your sorrow. Ah, uh, that night. That night. It is your sorrow. Elkanah knew his wife. Elkanah. 
Elkanah knew his wife There is no production outside of knowledge Hannah was with Elkanah But Elkanah did not know her but the day Elkanah knew Hannah Hannah was able to produce and how did Elkanah know Hannah Hannah knew the kingdom Hannah understood the kingdom you will never be known if you don't know the kingdom you will never be understood if you don't understand the kingdom you will never, you will never rise if you don't rise with the kingdom God only sponsors his agenda God does not sponsor your agenda he sponsors his agenda what are you looking for and God is also looking for something you are looking for wealth. God is looking for who? You are looking for money. God is looking for who? You are looking to travel. God is looking for an evangelist. You are looking to have power. God is looking for a leader. You are looking to be a great speaker. God is looking for someone on the pulpit. Thy kingdom come. God is looking for his kingdom He is looking for his agenda Until you step into his kingdom Thy will be done it's not possible to move God outside of kingdom There are requirements to this thing you have to be kingdom minded in your request you have to be kingdom minded in your prayer you have to be kingdom minded in your giving you have to be kingdom minded in your talking you have to be kingdom minded in your relationship you have to be kingdom minded I will be done I so God is looking for his kingdom 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 If you will stay in the kingdom Stay in his will If you must stay in the kingdom Stay in his will. Stay in his will. Hallelujah. There are requirements to this land. He says, Seek first the kingdom. There's no problem seeking, but make sure the kingdom is what you are seeking. So it means in my seeking, the kingdom has to be the preeminence. In my seeking, the kingdom has to be the primary. The kingdom. The kingdom. Ah, let's go. Yeah. 
But it's okay, let me introduce the message and leave it. Papa will continue. Let me just introduce it and leave it. Please, man of God, I beg you, allow me 10 minutes. Sit down, you're making me nervous. What are the requirements of the kingdom? I have talked about the requirement in prayer. Talk about the second requirement, which is total submission. What did I say? Total. Submission. Jesus said in Matthew, we don't have time to read the scriptures, but Jesus said in Matthew, Matthew 16, 25, he says, He says that whosoever shall save his life will lose it. But whosoever Whosoever shall lose his life for my sake will save it. Total submission. God is not just interested in your time. He's not just interested in your money. He's not just interested in your talent. He's interested in your all. And submission not just to God, but to man. You see, some people they are okay submitting to God, but they don't know how to submit to man. It is only in the kingdom that God takes men and gives them as gifts to men. So he takes Gabriel and gives him as a gift to you. Now, if you are given a gift, what do you do? Think about it. The first thing you have to do is unwrap it. Nobody stares at the wrapping paper forever. Thank you for the gift you gave me, but I'm going to unwrap it. You know why? Because if I don't unwrap it, you won't be happy. Some of you are afraid to unwrap your gift. In the kingdom, we unwrap men through submission. If you want to unwrap a father, submit. Submit until they call you sick. Submit until they say something is wrong with you. Why do you follow that man like you don't have sense? It's a kingdom matter. Why is it anywhere that man go, you go? Is a kingdom matter. Because my blessing is no longer with God. Somebody 
Some people are still believing their blessing is with God. The Bible says God has blessed us. He never said God will bless us. With all blessings. In the man Christ. And now he said when he ascended he gave gifts to men. To some he gave apostles. Listen. It's not that he gave apostles as a gift. Wait let me explain this one. It's not like the apostle is the gift. The man, apostle, is the gift. So when he ascended, he gave gifts to men. Apostle, pastor, teacher, all these are gifts. See my gift. See my gift. Where is your gift? So you left your gift to unwrap. You are still praying the wrong prayer. In the kingdom, we unwrap men by submission. If you unwrap this man, your life will be unwrapped. Those of you who have tried to unwrap him, you are testimonies. You, you can, can testify. You have seen how from the time you began to relate with him a certain way. And the reason you need to submit totally is because when you unwrap, there are some things you will find. Some That is where the blessing is. In the kingdom, you don't save to grow. In the kingdom, you lose to give. I am summarizing. You don't save. You see, in the world, you save in order to in the kingdom, you lose in order to give. What are you holding on to that is keeping you where you are? I present to you the kingdom. When you step into the kingdom, brace yourself for war. The kingdom Brace yourself for war. The greatest war is here. War amongst the same people who minister. War amongst the same people who say you are my spiritual sister, my spiritual brother, my spiritual, my spiritual, my spiritual. Brace yourself for war. Uh, because in the kingdom there will be war. But I love the way Paul says it in Ephesians chapter 6. He says we wrestle not against flesh and blood. But against principalities. Against powers. Remember when your sister looks like they are the one fighting you. See beyond the person. When your brother looks like he's the one fighting you, see beyond the brother. We wrestle against spirits. But we are one in the kingdom. Hallelujah. 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 Brace yourself for what? Second Corinthians 10:5. Casting down imagination. And every high thing that exalts itself above the knowledge of God. We are at war with our thoughts. We are at war with our thoughts. It's a kingdom of war. Brace yourself for war. An internal war. 
cast down imagination. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Get ready. In Ephesians reading forward, he said, Where the breastplate of righteousness. The, the best of truth. The shield. You, you, are, you, are, you are at war. Put on the whole armor. It's a kingdom where we are fighting. But you see, what the devil has done is he has convinced us to fight ourselves. Instead of fighting him. Say, I'm kingdom minded. In the kingdom, we sacrifice. One of the greatest ways to sacrifice is fasting. Yeah. Sacrifice is releasing your will that his will might be done. So when I look at food and I'm like, no, I want to connect. I take that food, I give it out. That is one. Of, you, are you seeing the requirements of the kingdom? So you cannot be in this kingdom if you cannot submit. You can't be in this kingdom if you cannot sacrifice. Let go. You can't be in this kingdom if you cannot pray. You can't be in this kingdom if you cannot war. You can't be in this kingdom if you don't see God as your father. You can't be in this kingdom if you cannot love. You cannot be in this kingdom, finally, if you cannot die. I came to introduce you to death. Yesterday I told them at Sunesis, I said, when you are unbeliever, you need to die to sin. When you are a believer, you need to die to self. Our biggest struggle is self. In the kingdom, there is no self. There is only him. And us. True sacrifice is when your life is the reason another person is alive. You begin to know that. You say, you say present your body as a living sacrifice. When your life is the reason someone else is alive, then you are a sacrifice. I pray that the Lord will give you understanding. I pray that the Lord will give you understanding. I pray that the Lord will give you I pray that the Lord will give you understanding. I pray that the Lord will give you understanding. That these things will not just be hyperboles. They will just be exaggerations. But you will come to the place where they will become a reality. In your life. In the name of Jesus. I said they will become a reality. They will become vivid. They will become vivid in the name of Jesus. If there be any person under my voice who is struggling with any of these requirements of the kingdom, I pray for divine visitation in the name of Jesus. That they will be touched by your spirit in the name of Jesus. I pray that your Holy Spirit will touch somebody. I pray that your Holy Spirit will deliver somebody. I pray that your Holy Spirit will move Somebody. I pray for sons of Kora ministries. Sons of Kora ministry. I thank you for the ministry that you have given unto us. I thank you for the gift of a father that you have given unto us. I thank you because we are unwrapping these gifts every day. In the name of Jesus. As we unwrap, we are rising. As we unwrap, we are growing. As we unwrap, we are increasing. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Through the ministry of Apostle Gabriel, Lord, our giftings are sharpened. Through the, the leadership that you have put in place and the team that you have led, that we will rise in the name of Jesus. That your name be exalted in the name of Jesus. We thank you because no one shall be lost. 
We thank you because no one shall be lost. In the name of Jesus. We thank you because every element of discord is settled in the name of Jesus. Every provocation of darkness is silenced in the name of Jesus. We pray by the Spirit of God that this ministry will be a voice in this nation. In the name of Jesus. You said if you honor, you shall be honored. Father, as many graces as stand on this podium, Lord, I decree and I declare as an apostle that a shift and a wave has come. In the name of Jesus. I pray in the name of Jesus that a shift and a change is coming in the name of Jesus. Uh, I thank you because lives are changing. I thank you because this is a house of miracles. I thank you because it's a house of signs and wonders. I thank you because it's a house of glory. I thank you because it's a house of bread. I thank you because we are experiencing a Bethlehem. Thank you because this is the land of bread. Ah, if there be anybody under my voice that is sick. By reason of your word and your atmosphere. I speak an instant miracle. In the name of Jesus. Somebody's troubled about house rent. Somebody is troubled about feeding. Somebody is troubled about school fees. Father, they are arrested and delivered in the name of Jesus. I pray for the men and women of God who serve in this ministry. I pray that they are settled once and for all. In the name of Jesus. They are settled once and for all. In the name of Jesus. As many as have been faithful out here. You will be faithful to them. As many as have been faithful out here. You will be faithful to them. Thank you Holy Spirit. Thank you Holy Spirit. Thank you Holy Spirit. Jam your hands together. Jam your hands together. Jam your hands. Jam your hands. Shall go marines, I don't go. Shall go marines, I don't go. Clap your hands more than that. Hajire umu protocolu hagara kuruji ni hajiru soka tutara soza. Let me request the Asha to stand at the door so that no one hajiru soka tutara soza. Before we wrap up. Gari kambabazi chivazo. Now let me ask you this question. Yatoro yari kuiri. Was the offering worth it? Monsuiz. Now answer me. Yatoro natanzi yari kuiri. Was the offering that I that I gave worth it. This man speaks and you think that anyone that comes here after him is just joking. And we thank God that the kingdom of God has now entered through sons of Korah. It's been a month where we had a theme saying the untold blessing of work. But I thank God that we are going now to work in the kingdom of God. Let's convert what we have received in the spiritual into the physical and take your offering wherever you are. Is there a person who has been fed in his spirit? Now look into your capabilities. Now take a good offering as we honor the anointing of the man of God. so that if he gets out, 
And he buys a bottle of water, let him drink it as he remembers the sounds of horror. When he refreshed, he refreshed himself. That bottle of water also think about how good how good the, the, the word of God was to us. We don't this, we don't do this ministry for the money. Narababwiye nta muntu muri iki gihugu nta ni gihugu nta na leta nimwe yabona amafaranga ihemba umukozi w'Imana. I told you there is no nation there is no government that could find enough money or enough compensation to give to a man of God or to a ministry. Sacrifice abakozi w'Imana bakora nta nta numunsi wa wa celebrate abakozi w'Imana ubaho. Ukeka du celebrate iminsi 1335. There is there isn't even an international day for the men of God because if they will celebrate men of God they will celebrate them each and every day. Ariko kubiba mu mavuta mu buntu bw'umuntu ni kunyungu za chapana kunyunguza. But seeding in the anointing of the man of God is not for his uh, benefit is for our benefit. Ariko reka tugira icyo dukora azibukiraho ko mu gihe yaci muri bene kora twubashya mavuta ye. But let's do something that, so that it will, it will be a remembrance. Nimbe afite ku mobile money nta kindi dusigaje nicyo ngicyo gusa hari numero iri hariya general dufasha. So if you have it on mobile money please use 0790801 Nimbe afite cash wayazana muri kuri iki gicaniro nawe. And if you also have it cash please bring it to the altar here in front. Imani baho umugisha mu bikora. May God bless you. Ko rukoresha mobile money. Ko dukorise ngesho risoza. And before we do the the wrapping up, ndifuza gushimira intumwa yatugendereye. Prayer, I would like to thank the man of God, the apostle that came here. Thank you so much. Murakoze cyane. Nibandi giye avugaga bumvaga muri bo hari ikintu kirimo kirakoka. Who, when he was speaking here in front, felt that there was something working in their stomach or in their belly. Man of God, I've done something with God. You can come and offer. When God is operating over a life of a person, he makes sure that person is asleep. The fact that you can't see God doing something doesn't mean that he finished what he was doing. When you will wake up, that's when you will know that something took place. And I'm telling you next week, it's another week with another blessing. Because we are starting it today transformed and changed in our mind, in our spirit. And this week, this change we took here, we bring it at work, at school, and everywhere we'll be, and people will feel the influence of the kingdom that we we, we have been ministered to today. And praise be to God. So we will be here for celebration of Passover this Sunday. Or some call it Easter. So we'll be celebrating the resurrection of Jesus. If you have people who are sick, come believing that God will heal them this Sunday. We'll take a holy communion together in remembrance of what Jesus did on the cross and what made us who we are today. And experiencing the explosion of the power of resurrection. And I will be preaching on the theme Jesus the man. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We'll be preaching on Jesus the man. The miracle of Passover is not in Jesus' divinity but Jesus' humanity. And you will understand how you can manifest that same glory in your physical mortal bodies. And I will be preaching on the theme 
take stand up. Uh, we're going to pray for the ground. Uh, we, we promised it to do it last time. It's only two minutes. There is a connection between man and the ground and earth. There is a connection with soil, with ground. And when God was creating a man, he used the soil, the ground. And Job said, I came from, the, from my mother's womb naked. And I shall go forth back into the earth naked. And when God was going to give uh, Joshua land, he said, wherever you shall step your foot, it shall be yours. He didn't say where your shoes will get. He said where his feet will step. Now the whole Bible, in its summary, there are people who are given their heritage and our first heritage is this earth Jesus said do not remove them from this world but protect them protect them inside now take your soil your portion of soil and we are going to pray saying God rule over this earth rule over this land of Rwanda and I proclaim all the goodness of this country probably you didn't bring this soil this portion of soil take, just touch on your heart and listen to my proclamation all the goodness of this country you shall eat from it if you are a person, or a visitor or a local but from the influence of the, of the kingdom of God now you're going to rule over this earth except if you're not working on the land but wherever there is soil if you step on it you shall be wealthy you shall be wealthy you shall also expand you shall live in your elder age in the name of Jesus it won't take you to go out of the country for you to live well in this country you shall eat from its fruit and I give you two minutes pray for ruling over this country and this land start praying now start praying pray so that the influence of the kingdom come in this country through every place you can live now start praying we have received the word now pray for that soul pray for the soul now I'm going to tell you what you'll do tomorrow now start praying this night pray pray for the soul of the work of your office soil of where Senga. you reside and remember your descendants who also live on that land and the land you're on here is the, the one in Canada and the land here is the same land in America Senga. pray to the point where you feel a connection with you and the land you and soil there is a connection let whatever happens in you also enter in that land Senga. 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 pray 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 so that Every cursed land of earth will be accursed this night. And every proportion of the land of this earth, the land of this country, will be accursed in this. Night. 
and you shall be wealthy on the land. You shall be great on the land. Now keep praying, keep praying. Pray more. 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 Pray again. Pray again. Pray. 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 Senga and Utaka was correct, Murimoa. Alaba Shandelebo, Brakaya Daba Setelebo, Prekiza Mamundi Akadabasa, Shataka Labaro do Sede, Sekle Ekepamo Obiasa, Utaka Trofashi, Tuzabu Komeramo, Tuzabu Jiramo, Tuzabu Jiramo, Tuzabu Jiramo, Tuzabu Hajiramo. Ekalaba sandelele bokosha, amaseza naturiho, azau soramu, elaka sabra ligene mandele kosha, senga 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 senga, senga senga, ukomba kuhaganza, utakuzabu ganza mu, utakuzabu teje kamu, separa la diasa sigeleba, shepra ikele bosha. Senga, senga, senga. Now pray, pray, pray. Now put a cup of sugar in your mouth and go hunger. Now this land won't. Now resistance is put a cup of sugar in your mouth. You may use your mouth. After this day, now resistance is on your cup. There won't be any resistance against you. In your world, we should be Yahweh. At your school, Alabo Shataba. Senga, senga, senga. Senga, senga. Pray, pray. Ah, senga. No pray again. Senga. Pray. Senga, you put a cup. Pray for this soil. Nuku tabuvamo. And this land. Na Abraham yaha umujisha muguta kabuta rugiwa. Na Abraham yaha umujisha muguta kabuta rugiwa. Even Abraham was was blessed. Nuka hana taru muguta kakafuchire. But this land. Ari kisezano rja esu agu akafuchire. But the promise of this land is you the inheritance. Na udukuri online senga. And if you are also following us online, keep praying. Keep praying. Senga ugamir gima na ginchi na hanhos kwa. Pray that the kingdom of God enters wherever. Influence in juru igala gala hanu senga. And the influence of from God for the kingdom of God will also come. Senga senga senga. Now pray. Senga senga senga. Keep praying. Senga senga. Keep praying. Na buzonya kuva resistance. You won't be having any resistance. Senga senga senga. Coming from this soil now pray. Yes, you can pray. Pray, 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 pray. Pray, pray, pray. In the name of Jesus. Now another prayer that we're going to do. We're going to say, God, in this year, give me a plot of land. Before this year ends, you shall come here and, and give thanks to God. And in every funds that you have, put cars aside and put houses aside. Buy a plot of land because there is grace of buying lands in this, this evening. One person says, if you don't have a plot of land, if you don't have a plot of land that you call your own, you, your own, you, you're not a person. Now this year may God give you a plot of land that is registered on your name, registered under your name. As in you, there, are, there is wealth. It should be also that it also will be that in your plot of land will be your wealth. There are blessings that God cannot give you without having a plot of land. Now this year, you are going to pray and say, God, I need a plot of land. And I'll tell you what you'll do on Monday. Now before this year ends, I'm telling you this time. I see you standing here or anywhere else. Or anywhere else saying that God is going to give you a plot of land. Now pray, asking God to give you a plot of land. Imani gui chivanza. Ibu kayu kima na ri data. This God gives. Ibu kayu kima na ri data. Remember that we sabi chiga ichi chivanza. Senga 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 senga. Now pray pray pray. Senga imani gui chivanza yunga. Pray for God to give you a plot of land. Senga imani gui chivanza. Pray for God to give you a plot of land. Senga imani gui chire landlord yunga. Pray that God will give you. Make sure you are the landlord of a plot of land. 
Mumisoruzishu lungaka uyungaka and the taxes you pay this year and in the years coming the taxes you'll give land will also be among it now stop praying 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 we're wrapping up this pray 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 Sing. May God give you all and you'll come here to the that God gave you life. I see you testifying him from in the name of and what we have all we have prayed for it is yes and amen tomorrow now take a portion of the land that you have and look for a place you want to possess. If it is at your workplace, take a portion of that land and, make, and mix it with the land that is there. Just put it over. And this year, the kingdom of God shall come down where you put it. And if the problems you have is at home, or maybe you have a debt somewhere, take a portion of land and put it there. I think no one will blame me if you just put some land somewhere. It is the physical, but spiritually, you are conquering and taking over. This land that we are speaking of, it is, it is holy now. The Bible says everything is made holy by the word and prayer. It is sanctified by prayer it is sanctified and the word. by prayer and the word. Because we have prayed for this soil. And we have also honored the word of the Lord. Everywhere it will be put as it gets mixed with other land, it will be transformed into a holy place. In the name of Jesus. Go back to your home. At peace. Read each other. Let, let, uh, Shalom. Nahadimash. They are going to expose the man of God. Today he was special because we had guests. But next Sunday we shall conclude. Shalom, 